What's good, Superstar? Back with another VV video. You got Superstar Joe. You got Superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good, you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. His internet is back, it seems like. It seems like your internet is back in action. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget. Become a Superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. So, you know, whenever we post, hit that bell notification. It's going to be great. Um, we're coming up on one year. Rob talks about it every single video. We got that on January 2nd. We're doing a nice, big, long stream, hopefully inviting a bunch of people on to chat and fill the void while me and you go eat and do other things. Um, but it's going to be a fun time January 2nd. You're going to want to make sure you mark your calendars for that. Uh, that will be our one-year special. We will announce the future of the channel, what we're planning to do next year. That's going to be a lot <laughs> different than this year. So it's going to be a lot different than this year. Keep that in mind. But uh, I think it's really exciting, and I'm, I'm really excited to go there and then and start doing that. So uh, you guys can speculate all you want. Let us know what you think it is in the comments down below. Also, you can become a superstar VIP. Whoops. There it is. Um, you can get a star next to your name. You can level up through the ranks over time. Um, every month or two months or, or six months or two years, you get a new badge, and you can brag to your friends that you are in that tier. Eventually, we'll be color coding the next slides that you see here. Um, but this also gives you access to the drop spreadsheet that we're going to use today um, to help you decide if maybe it's worth going for a drop. Um, price predictions, all that stuff. It lets you advertise on our channel as well. We also post all of our buys and sells. All the VIPs have been privy to that. There's been lots of giveaways that we've done exclusively for VIP members. You get first dibs on merch and star in the universe at the end of every single month uh, for now, at least until the end of the year. And then we'll decide if that's uh, the contest going forward or if we got something else maybe planned. Yeah. Shout out to all the VIP. Um, you're greatly appreciated. Chosen Blockchain Revolution, I got to update you because you just changed your name to Chosen. You let us know. Much shorter, still cool name. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the continuous support. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Description has the best Discord of all time. I was talking in there today. Rob was in there all night last night until like 2 a.m. So guys, really, really fun place to be if you want to talk about this stuff after you're watching one of our videos or before or whenever you watch it. Um, also, we have a P.O. Box if you want to become a Superstar Hall of Famer. Yeah, we've got some new friends in our Discord now. It's always exciting every time I see some new names in the Discord. Yeah. And everyone's contributing. Everyone's contributing to the conversation. So definitely, if you want to you know, be amongst the superstars, come check it out. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's bring up our Twitter here. Uh, oh, so there's our Twitter. Um, just had to poke the bear a little bit more today. Um, trying to get Alex G to come on the channel for a little <laughs> bit of a, a, a powwow Q&A. Uh, I brought something back up that he tweeted on September 16th where he said he'll come on if we do such and such. And uh, he was kind of complaining in the Fantasy Football League that the finals was too long. Sorry for throwing you under the bus there. But uh, I said, we'll vote for shorter NFL Fantasy finals too. So, um, Alex, I think uh, that's fair. What do you think? Um, also, look at this. Daniel Zaltzberger. This is fantastic. Hey. This is in the McFarland showroom. By so the way, have, like, huge, huge show to Daniel very quickly. He sent us. Almost three hundred dollars worth. I think it was three hundred dollars worth of McFarland merchandise when he signed up. So again, we appreciate you. I don't have the box with me right now. When I get it, I'll come and do a little show and tell. Nazgul, okay, Nazgul. Shout out to Nazgul. Thank you guys, and thank you, Nazgul. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some giveaways with those. We'll we'll keep some in the background whenever we decide to get around to setting up our backgrounds when we have our permanent spots. Um, there's going to be a little bit moving around. You see some picture frames in my background here. Stuff is happening in this room eventually, but it's the holiday season. So we're on a little bit of a slowdown. Um, but yeah, this was cool. Uh, loved seeing the, the creativity, probably one of the first showroom arts on the McFarland project. So, um, it looks like you got a pretty cool collection though, too. I mean, you got a bunch of stuff in there, but that is can't so wait, can't wait to see these dragons coming out tomorrow oh, or not on the 22nd in two days. Well, we got to buy it. I'm buying it. I'm, we're going to be a loud list because we are the top 100. Yeah. So right at noon, we got to jump on and buy them. I think so. You get a little bit of an earlier buy time too as well. Hopefully, hopefully that drop, drop goes smooth, um, but we'll report back for sure. Yeah. Brandon Lackos starting to become one of the guys who gets the most juju on drops. Check starting. it out. Went for one box and hit his first seeker rare on a comic. Excellent. Well done. This is one of the really nice looking ones too. That I always thought that that one looked pretty cool. So yeah, very um, nice, really nice. And uh, congratulations. Also, VV finally adjusted their payout. You only need five hundred gems now. It's not a thousand. Steps is, in the right direction. Got to give credit where credit is due. That is for sure great news. I think that's exactly what we need more of. Ideally, we'll eventually get to a point where you can cash out at any number or or something something as small as maybe as twenty five gems. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, but 500 is definitely a big improvement from a thousand. And uh, I mean, unfortunately it kind of tracked, you know, when the a thousand was out, people were speculating, Oh, like it's so high. People are not going to, they're not going to be able to cash out now with the amount of, uh, cause I mean, I think VV has a pretty good idea of how much uh, gems are sitting in wallets right now. Yeah. They probably know it's a pretty low risk to bring it down to 500. So I'm just, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if people might be thinking, okay, you know what? I can get the 500 if I sell the, a couple things. Maybe this, uh, we do see a little bit of an effect on the market in the near term here. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe they know in the background, like, look, no one has over a hundred gems. <laughs> so let's do it. Maybe uh, we'll gems see. are hard. They're hard to come by right now, but yeah. it's still in the right direction. Let's hope they don't raise it back at any point and it only continues to go down. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's cool. Uh, the truck, obviously we're going to talk about that today. Our video is titled price predictions. Um, we're going to get into that. Shout out to Ricky Tan. If you guys were watching our OMI live stream with uh, our OUP live stream with Reese and Pudding Cheeks, we had a giveaway during that AMA multitasking like crazy. We had a great trivia question and uh, Ricky was the first one to solve the answer. So we sent him three comic books and these were all uh donated to the channel by rich got gems on twitter so make sure you guys go give rich got gems a follow and a thank you for donating some prizes uh we've given away a bunch of them at decon when we were there live we brought four or five and then now we gave these away and we kept a couple for our own personal uh show and tell eventually uh but uh shout out to rich got gems thank you so much for uh for supporting the channel that way yep. and uh i want you to get the credit where credit is due superstar rich got gems is the man this is uh, a great video. Go watch yesterday's video. We had uh, put Vivi on blast a little bit about a couple things, but uh, I think it was necessary. And uh, hopefully we heard we heard the spaces with Mitch. Uh, hopefully uh, things are starting to move in the right direction and we stop getting false promises. Yeah. Uh, comic drop today. We saw Brandon Lacos hit the secret rare, Rob. Uh, and we also saw some other tweets that, that people were seeing gems. I think Vivi Arcade is one tagged us in it. A dollar eleven for, for some of the hold. comments. It pumped back to two. It yeah. pumped back to two. But yeah, no, though I I see that we're starting to see some low, you know, ones, a dollar eleven, a dollar forty nine. But yeah. I'm not buying until it's a dollar. Like I said, I wanted to see under one dot zero zero under. I'll start buying. I only have thirty three comics in my collection right now. <laughs> but that number I hope can soon go up once they hit one dollar. He wants to see it consistently there, not moving up and down. And if you find one at a dollar. It could be an anomaly, right? I'll buy one at a dollar. If I if I see one at a dollar, I'll buy it. But I haven't I haven't found one at a dollar yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there's the payout stuff. There's the truck stuff. New comic coming. Twenty five holiday tales from Mary Mutants. What does Magnet Magneto do for Hanukkah? What's Rogue and Gambit's first Merry Christmas like? Uh, Marvel Mary X Men Holiday Special 2018 Number One. Uh, so this is a Christmas special for X Men. I see uh, you got Deadpool in there and stuff too, right? It looks like yeah, it's pretty uh, cool. Pretty cool. The ultra rare, the secret rares. I'm not too much of a fan of the common the uncommons. I don't think, but uh, it's, it's cool still pretty cool. Doing... Pretty pretty cool cover art. Pretty cool. Yeah, they're doing some cool Christmas stuff. Yeah, very nice. That's coming Thursday. Um, we had this drop as well today. Uh, posters. Did you go for those, Rob? No, I did not. Did you? I didn't. I don't even know how they are trading. Uh, maybe we can take a quick look. All right, let's take a look. Let's see how the posters, they seem to all, when posters come out, they seem to hold pretty well. So they went for 30, right? So this one's right there. Yeah, they hold pretty well. They tend to hold their value. Yeah, for some reason. I mean, this one's right there. The No, they're not sold out. See, this is what I was talking about yesterday. There's yeah. three editions left. But because that, because there's any editions left, if I click this, it's not going to show me the prices. It makes me click view details. Oh, Yeah. And and then because they want me to buy it in the store still because it's still right. available. Right, they direct uh, to the store first. So mm -hmm. they want you to buy through the store. That was our video a couple days ago. Uh, I feel. How, sorry, go ahead. About how there might be some misdirection just to kind of get things to buy sell out from the store. Yeah, maybe. And I feel like the market's entering this new this new era now where it doesn't need to sell out, but the prices are holding a little bit better than they used to. Before yeah. it would it would not sell out and it would be crushed at at least fifty percent of the listed price. Yeah. Now things are not selling out, but they're holding. They're, they're not. They're not. They're not really holding the listed price, but they're a little bit less than listed price, which we're gonna bake into our price prediction later today. That could be a result of VV finally figuring out the, uh, the sizing of these drops and the prices. Maybe starting to realize like not being as greedy because what's the point? Things might not sell. Um, it's always good to have a good taste in buyers' mouths, and if buyers are noticing immediate gains. 
uh, or at least holding their value, they'll be a little bit happier to go and purchase from the store or from the bot blind box. You want to create that hype. That hype, I think, is very important, even if it is just that. Uh, you want people to have reason to go for these things. This way, they're they're talking about it. That's how that's how this spread like wildfire last year, right? It was all about the hype. People realizing if they hit something, they were making instant gains. Uh, so I think even if they're holding the value, people will be excited. Well, we talked about bringing the fun back to the drops. And I yeah. think you're right on that, which is they are getting a better, they're turning the dials so that the min size and the pricing is, is equal enough that it can hold a little bit better in the secondary market. Remember back in the Thors and came out, yeah. it was like $60, but there was like 18,000 of them or something like that. Yeah. You're just asking to get crushed. Now we're not, we, we very rarely will see a collectible over 10,000 now. Yeah, this goes back to my 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 comments, and I guess your comments too. I think you're on the same page about ASM 252, Michael Campa's uh, profile picture. Uh, that a thousand mints when that came out, like I, I ended up buying one. I was trying to flip it, couldn't flip it. I ended up selling it at a loss. But uh, I, I we've been saying it's overvalued because what happens when VV comes out with more scarce drops? We're starting to see things that aren't selling in the store. That Tarzan drop, I think only like 400 or something or 300 sold. I mean, that might be the most scarce comic after this. Is that is that storyline, is it big enough to to carry the weight now if it's not the scarcest comic? Like that was what was baked into it, right? Now we're at 850. Thankfully, I got I got rid of around 1250, but I bought in around 1800. So yeah. Um, well, it's a, we, we've always been bashing this one here, even though Joe, <laughs> Joe owned it, right? It's one of the most scarce comics on the app, but sometimes scarcity alone will not hold the value. So it's down to 850, 850 now. Yeah. It's starting to become a little bit closer now to a amazing fantasy 15, but that one there, I think is at four fifty now. Yeah. So you're seeing, you know, amazing fantasy. There's 10,000 mints, right? Yeah, I know. I think it's less than that. The, the comments like three something, isn't it? It's, it's under 400 now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I, not, me, I thought it was, let me, let me pull it up very quickly. Let me try, let me pull it up. It's been yeah. a while since I looked because that one has 10,000 mints. No, yeah, the comments right at 300. Oh, wow. It's come way down. Okay. All right. Maybe it's not as close as I thought. I checked it yeah. maybe a month ago, I think. And it was like at, at 400. So we're at 300 versus yeah. 800. So well, we keep adding things into the market. We're not getting new users. Uh, people only got so much money. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we can only expect one thing until we start to see a little bit of uh, health health gain in the actual overall macro, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but it is what it is. Here's day nine. If you're on this list, congratulations. Still do not recognize anybody. No. Nope. This one's funny because it looks like Laura M, but it's Laura's M. Laura's, uh, yeah, I saw that. I thought it was Laura M at first. Yeah, uh, it was rooted for you, but uh, unfortunately not. Um, and this is another one that's getting a lot of attention. It's uh, the face. Got America Chavez. This reminds me of Thor's mouth. Like yeah, this is does. reminding me of exactly Thor's mouth. Like. If it didn't go well back then, I know you guys do this ahead of time, but man, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of a lot of bad uh, reactions to this one in the, in her, the comments. Her face, here. her face is definitely getting ripped on on this collectible. <laughs> Look at this. Um, what does it say? What does it should say? We treat, what? Should we consider a new art team? Oh my god! <laughs> it seems like it's not everybody. It, it definitely is licensor related because that DC Swamp thing looked fantastic. It looks so and, good. And then you get this one here, and the face looks like Mr. Potato Head. But you uh, notice that? <laughs> where the it, eyebrows and all that. Everything's like placed separately, it seems like. Why is it that the DC stuff is just so amazing? And then and then this comes out, and it's not that realistic. I don't know. Good question. Maybe oh, okay. we should save it. Maybe we should save it for another AMA and ask Vivi. Yeah, like look at this. You got, <laughs> you've got people zooming in. I'm telling you, this looks like Thor's mouth. I feel like they just copy and pasted it. But um, a lot of people, even uh, Omi the Clown... LK coming out and saying you need to change your star to this one because that star is looking really wonky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess she's leaning over. It's that type of a pose, but I'm yeah. curious to see what the other one looks like if it looks any better because there are two poses from what we read. They got uh, almost like a worm. I guess supposed to be the string. It's the string going into the star. On the, uh, on the yeah, yeah, this is their string. Yeah. But anyways, um, let's get to the topic. Let's talk about the Coca-Cola Caravan. It Very is a cool. famous iconic piece. Um, I love it. I think it's a great idea. I like that it lights up. I was really wondering about that. Yeah. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to be drivable from first glance. Yeah. I feel um, like if it's not drivable though, it can, it will be eventually like, yeah, in maybe the, in the VV verse, maybe in the VV verse, but at least it's animated. It has the Christmas theme. People love their big trucks. 
This, People love this, their heavy trunks. This might be one of the nicest uh, Christmas collectibles that they've done, if not the nicest. I like it. And there's a lot of truck fanatics. So when they see stuff like this, they want to own it. It's very collectible. The yeah. ki- like big trucks like this, like there people love that kind of stuff to collect cars, trucks. Yeah. I think, I think that the fact that it's Coca-Cola too, it's, it's a very recognizable IP as well. You got the sand on it. It's something that people love to, to have in their collection just because it's associated. You have the big IP and you got the car. It's a recipe for success. I wonder, I wonder how detailed it will be when you actually look at it, uh, in in ar on on your phone because it's digital right they can get as detailed as they really want to right um maybe even more so than an actual toy because these are also toy collectibles you can buy the truck as a toy collectible in real life right um so that's pretty cool the other thing that's pretty cool is this list price 30 gems i mean i think if this was a couple months ago this might have been like 120 (laughs) who knows for for an item like this right so 3888 editions first edition coca-cola brand coca-cola christmas series coca-cola holiday caravan so uh rob you got the magic spreadsheet let's see what it's about okay so here's the thing though finding it comparable right now is getting difficult because you can't go too far in the past and then we have to account for the fact that there's baked in gems so we try to pick some recent things so i actually want to start with swamp thing so swamp thing is 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 the one that really really stood out to me here because when i did the price prediction video that one i did solo and i assumed a 100,000 market cap if it were to sell out I was getting a price of of like it was 30 around 35 gems, but it's trading at 49 and only 990 sold. So like this, the market has almost changed to now. It's not just the 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 market cap, but it's also how many are going to sell. You almost have to be predictive in the number that will sell. You almost have to be predictive as well in the in the logic and mentality of the listed price. So for this one here, you have 990 swamp thing. Market cap of 48,510, listed price of 49. Then we also did the bat signal. The bat signal did sell out. There was 8,888 of those, of those. And it's currently trading at a market cap of 130,000 with a price of 14.6. So this is just a couple of things that we can compare to. For the Coca Cola truck, assuming a 100,000, okay? Like we keep saying that we like using the 100,000 market cap. Now, this one here, the, it's a D, like it's a very well known IP. We know that there's about 100,000 new gems coming in every day to VV. Yeah. So 100,000 divided by 3,888 mints gives you a price of 2572 And we are okay with that. If you think about it, 49 for the swamp thing when the listed price was 60, it's about a sixth of a loss from the listed and only 990 so out. If you do the same thing, you still end up with 25 from 30. Right, yeah. A sixth of that is 30. So for that reason, we're comfortable 25. And then as time goes on, obviously the market will continue to erode away and pick away at it. Yeah. I think, I think the thing here is we're assuming it will sell out probably uh, within a, I, I think at least personally, I think it's going to take a day, maybe around, uh, I think off the drop it won't. I think it might be like an Obi-Wan where we saw it kind of trickle, trickle, trickle. The price was close enough to box where people were willing to mint to try and get a better number. Uh, Obi-Wan's probably a bigger IP than this is, but um, this is pretty iconic. People are in the Christmas mood right now, um, but uh, I can see it hanging out around 25. I don't think that's too steep. It's too crazy for what you're getting. And uh, I think people look at that as well. Like for what you're getting here, it's worth it. Um, the other things that have hung around box like this include like the Back to the Future flying car. That's also flying, but uh, it's not FE or whatever. It's it's a uh, second edition, but it's it hung around like I think it was an 80 box that and it's hung around like in the 70s for a while. So I can see this being in the 20s. 25 uh but again we are a month about a month away from it being 20 or less because christmas season will be over and uh people have moved on to the next bright shiny thing and we're hearing january has a lot of fun stuff coming so um i think this is a short-term price prediction but uh, i think you're going to see it around this price yeah i'm not entirely sure like like I, although I, I think it could sell out i'm not entirely sure that it will sell out but it, even if it doesn't i'm still comfortable with the 25 dollar price target because what we're finding here is that that it, you don't need all of them to sell out to hold the value. We're not going to see 50% losses necessarily yeah. on the listed price if they don't all sell out. So I'm okay at the 25. I don't know if it will sell out, but it doesn't have to sell out. And I agree with you as well in terms of the Christmas season. This thing's hot right now. So if you want to go for the gamble, you like this kind of stuff, but just keep in mind that we're, we're not going to have you know Christmas forever. And then um, 
like like the market again like i still have a theory that personally i believe that the bear market will continue long into the year into the next year 2023 yeah so there's gonna there's lots of time for these things to continue to erode away and yeah joe you're right probably you know 20 gems isn't that unreasonable to see uh, relatively soon so let's see where it goes and we don't know your price prediction guys like we we put our necks out on the line right we, we, we give you our thoughts but make sure you let us know below we've had it's really fun to do because we've had many of you come back the next day and make another comment on top of your last comment saying i was either way off or you know i came pretty close so leave your comments below it's a nice way for you to remember what you thought then you can check back tomorrow and see how close you came to your price predictions do you agree with us or do you have a different opinion also don't forget before you leave if you haven't already smash the subscribe button join the superstar family hit the bell notification button to get every single video every single day we got coming 365 here we come like joe said you got to come join us january the 2nd on our one year anniversary of doing this every single day for an entire year and then after that we'll announce some uh, some changes we plan to make going forward please check it out also hit also guys superstar vip 299 a month Hit the star beside your name. Uh, get access to our spreadsheets, drop spreadsheet, uh, market cap analysis spreadsheet, uh, market floor sweeping spreadsheet. Get first dibs on merch. Get the opportunity to have a star in the universe named after you. Uh, we'll, we'll do advertisement for you. And if that's, you know, if, 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 if we've had people ask me uh, maybe just a couple days ago, I want to join. How do I join? It's on the main page. It looks like you can't do it through the mobile. So if you want to do it, you got to do it through, through the actual web platform. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you to all our superstars and all our VIPs. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.